DWM has window swallowing. At least, it should if you're on Linux. Now, as you can see over here, I am on OpenBSD. And OpenBSD is quite a bit different from Linux in many ways, very similar to Linux in many ways. But one thing that it does not support for some reason is DWM's window swallowing. Now, I felt like figuring this out a long time ago, and then I realized, why not just figure out window swallowing for myself? I'll make my own window swallowing. And I went out and I tried to look for scripts and programs, and they all were just so unnecessarily, I guess, bloated. They would be tons of lines of Python, or it would be like a regular old C program, but it'd be hundreds of lines. And I realized I could do anything that these Windows Wallers are doing with the XDo program. So let's send this out of the way. Um, there we go. Uh, we don't need that right now. Um, X do. So basically what it does is it performs action on X windows like it says up here and it can do things like close, kill, uh, unmap, show, uh, and all this stuff. So like say if I wanted to get the ID of the current window it is 0x01c all that. Okay and what I can do is I can do something. Well let me copy it first. So copy and I can XDO hide that window boom now it's gone but it's actually not gone because I can XDO show that same window and boom now it's back and so I was like isn't that basically what window swallowing is you're just hiding the window until it's done and then it comes back so I basically created this script called swallow and it is 12 lines and technically it's actually only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine actual lines of shell script, but we we'll use twelve because I mean it's still tiny. And uh, if you just want to run swallow real quick, the first thing that you'll notice is that you need to give it arguments. So example is using MPV. See if you type in normal old MPV, so do command MPV to look such. Uh, let's just do um, movies, American Psycho. You can see it spawns this useless terminal over here. I'll pause that so I don't get copyrighted. You can see it spawns this useful, useless terminal over here. You can't do anything with it. Uh, and all you can do is basically watch the video. You can full screen it if you want. But what are you going to do with this terminal? You want to be able to use it maybe sometimes, or you just want to go away. Now, what you could do is manually go and sleep one and then get the XDO ID of the window and then you could XDO hide that so you could actually you could just do XDO hide that and then it hides that window but nobody wants to do all that because that's just a waste of time instead you want to be able to close this out close out the window and it bring you back to the terminal so what I did was create this swallow program which I'll showcase for you real quick so swallow MPV videos, movies, American Psycho. You can see the terminal goes away, it starts playing American Psycho. When I quit it, oh, it goes back to the terminal. How magical. So I'll show you how you do this. Um, with, here we go, so the arguments, that's everything you supply. So MPV, that's the command, and this is the file, and all of the arguments are classified under just one variable args and the command is basically just a little bit of manipulation with the arguments that you give it and so we get the window ID by running XDO ID on the current window which is the terminal and then we run XDO hide on that variable that we just got from the previous command we run the CMD that was passed through, through the arguments and then when that command is done when it's done running it will just show that window again and that's what we get now here I have it so if you didn't provide any arguments that it will just print the error message and how to use it like over here but that's that's literally it you don't need any fancy patches or anything you just need shell scripts and I can show you so there are other things where it's like oh there's a swallow list there's a no swallow list well I don't know why you would need any of that what you can do instead is you can go to whatever file you have alias where you area uh, you, whatever file you keep your aliases in so I have it dot config csh aliases slash csh but uh 
we can go there and we can go to swallow and we can see these four commands mpv, zothra, sxiv, sxiv, and nsxiv they are all swallowed so I can actually just run generic mpv because if we type where mpv you can see it's alias to swallow mpv so if I type in mpv videos, movies, American Psycho boom, it goes away. I don't even have to worry about swallowing anymore. So I used to actually do this with temp files, and then I realized you don't need to use temp files at all. So it's actually very useful. Um, so this will work on literally any distribution that has xdo. If you're on OpenBSD, you might notice, oh, I don't have xdo. And uh, there's a very simple fix to this. All you have to do is go and do do as slash or do as vim slash se slash install url comment out the official repository use my repository save that file do pkg underscore add xdo and it will grab it from my package repository repository and then when you're done just go back comment that out add the official one this one doesn't even work so i don't even know why i have that in there anymore but yeah and then you can use xdo and you can see that it actually does run on my machine so that's about it for the swallowing video um, you might notice if you are a viewer of the channel that I am using DWM and OpenBSD uh, so I've got videos coming soon but uh, yeah interesting stuff nonetheless and I'll maybe make a video about this screencast script that I've set up too so uh, yeah Anyways, uh, I guess have a nice day, go out, use this swallowing, you don't need some fancy patch for DWM, just go and use some shell scripts, and this will be on my git repository, I don't know when, probably as soon as I, you know what, I'll do it right now, we'll, we'll add it to the, the git repository, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that, I, every time I try and zoom in, I hold in the super shift, and then start hitting J and K to zoom in and out, but I have to hold in alt, Anyways, that's why I typed KKK on accent. Um, get slash no slash dot local bin. Get add swallow. Get commit swallow. But yeah, I, I have a lot of stuff from switching over to uh, OpenBSD. Um, add swallow script. And then get push. There we go. And um, that should push, and whenever you watch this video, you should see that the swallow script is up. So, thanks for watching.